Hello. Do you like chest hair? So um, you saw my recent video. Like, wh why is Charlie in London? This is why I'm in London. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Many of you will recognize Ed Dutton. Edward Dutton, professor at uh, a university in Finland, but also better known because um, I can't imagine too many people say, oh my God, you're that professor in Flin Finland. Well, I was in Poland where I'm a professor, but yeah, um, I'm the, known as the Jolly Heretic, and it's a, it's a channel where I discuss what I call based science. I call yeah. it the kind of science that we, uh, we're not allowed to talk about that, that much these days. And I've had, uh, Charlie has very kindly come down to London to Barnes, which there's not many crackheads in Barnes. It's right? a bit safe. It's a it's, bit middle it's class. A little bit safe. We might measure some some skulls and see if it correlates with IQ at some point. Yeah. But but, uh, but fa failing that, it, it is rather middle class here. So we, we're gonna we got some um, frenulum. Was it was it phrenology? Phreno we're well, Phren it's, well, we're gonna we, as long as we don't get arrested for going out with big metal spikes. So um, so this is the jolly heretic, and I befriended Ed online about a year and a half ago because. Um, as you know, I'm a slightly obsessed with free speech. I like to, on my lives mostly, commit vocal cord vibration violations. And um, I think as the world is getting a little bit safe, a little bit... I can't think of any other... What's a good thesaurus for like safe going? Another word like... The world's getting... Molly coddling. Molly coddling, nanny state. People who speak openly. Right now, people ostracize them and treat them bad, but I reckon in 50 years, people will thoroughly enjoy Ed's ideas and uh, the way he expresses them. So subscribe to The Jolly Heretic, which is where Ed resides. That's where he has the open house, the pub. The main, Jolly Heretic. The main thing we're trying to find is spiteful mutants, and, and which is, you know, the collapse. And measure their skulls. Measure their skulls. The, 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 the collapse of half the winning conditions leads to the rise of spiteful mutants. They're mostly left wing. Uh, and they can mostly be identified by their bright purple hair and um, and, and, and such like. But I, I really, we might find some of those because this is a very middle class area. It is. So I can see it's going to be sort of head girl types, you know, posh girls with purple hair and mental health problems. Oh yeah. Oh, the, you know, I think the finest lefties are the adolescents who have very rich parents, so they can go live in a squat in central Manchester and they can um, wave I, I the. I met one. I met one at Oxford University the other day. Absolutely crazy girl. She, yeah. she. I, I said, you know, I was asking her questions about free speech and what are the borders of free speech and should yep. we be able to talk about race differences uh, that, and that kind of thing. And the very fact that I asked that, she just went mad and then and then went and got security. Uh, went, security. Went, 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 went and got, well, first of all, went and got went into the into the Bodleian Library. Yeah. Went, went and got the uh, went and got the the librarian that came out. I wouldn't, wouldn't talk to the librarian. He had a yeah. rainbow flag around. So then they went and got two security guards. Yeah. And I asked the security guards. Well, have I done? Have I broken the law? Then no, we've had three complaints that someone's standing here measuring students' skulls. <laughs> well, so I'm, this is for I'm example... With their permission. With their you, permission. You see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. If, you know, if I were to say I noticed that the American Teenage Mathematics Championships, when they, finally be, when they finally beat China, you saw the photo of the American team, they all look Chinese. But to say that you're a bad man, Every single race is identical. There is no differences, and you should never ever listen to anyone who says otherwise. No, uh, but we're, but uh, it's obviously nonsense. There are differences in intelligence, and I'm sure your viewers are fairly intelligent. They're all very, they're very, very based in reality on my channel. Is he just pulled onto double yellows? Double yellow. We're already seeing minor crimes, Charlie. This is this is this is the, this is the, this is the. Equivalent. Uh oh, he looks bigger than I said. I'm oh, not going to no, mess no, with no, him. No, I'm no, not going to. This is like what you found when you, where was it you were where, where they parked on the pavement recently. Where they, where they oh, yeah, the Spaniard outside the court for the Lucy Letby further trials. Yeah, yeah. And I said, what about the, the disabled? He goes, shut up by your face. No, so, so I mean, this is the kind of criminality you get here in Barts. We've got to be very careful about this, I think. We've already seen a minor infraction. This is the, this is the equivalent of taking crack or cottaging. Uh, uh, in, yeah, in, in, in middle Barnes. class cottaging. In middle class crime. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cu cut it now and we'll, 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 we'll get some skulls to measure. All right, how do you do? So this is Ed, and we have a... Jack. Well, well, hello, Jack. How are you doing? This is... Uh... This is Baby Pearl. Hello, Baby Pearl. How old is Baby Pearl? Uh, Baby Pearl is 10 months old. And what do you do for a living, if I may ask you? I'm a poker player. I'm sorry? Poker player, the game. Okay. That's amazing. That's, that's a high IQ job. You know what? No wonder he said yes to us asking no, well, him about just, YouTube. I mean, come on, let's have a look around here. So... That is, I'm admiring the shape of his yeah, skull. It's yeah, quite... look at it. It's hardly gone in at all. Right? That is a large brain. Do you struggle with card counting and the... With a small brain like that? Uh, I'm joking. Oh, so has he got a good of size? It's good size. It went in like that. Yes. I mean, the reason we ask is because there is a, it's considered sort of Victorian pseudoscience, but it's not pseudoscience. There is a correlation of about 0.3 between cranial capacity and intelligence. Mm -hmm. and obvious. It seems um, obvious. Yeah, big brain, 
big in terms. And obviously, one would expect a person that's a professional poker player uh, or a professional card player, or whatever, to have high IQ. I mean, it's just what, it's just the way of things. And and I just we're just sort of demonstrating that point yeah. today. If you were if you weren't very bright, it would go in like that. Yeah. But it wasn't so positive. big brain. Clearly successful in terms of reproducing. I think, but that's the <laughs> Can you tell anything don't. else? Normally, Normally they, don't. they don't. Normally the people that have you don't have babies. Do you only yeah. have one? Uh, I've got two. Oh! Hey, and have you ever had an IQ test? Yes. And do you mind sharing the score? Uh, about 140. <laughs> there you go, a genius! <laughs> Thank you very Our much. Our point is proven. Our point is proven on admittedly a sample of one, which is not a good sample. It's not a high sample. Okay, here we go. So I've, I've been asked to measure uh, Charlie's girlfriend Laura's head. And so we put these here like this. Seems to be a reasonable, respectable kind of size. And the correlation is 0.3. Uh, correlation is not causation, remember, but um, there is a relationship between having a large brain, uh, you would expect it, wouldn't you, yeah. and, uh, and being reasonably intelligent. So let's see how intelligent she is. A good mark of intelligence is vocabulary. Yeah. So I, Laura, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you three words and a target word. I'll give you a target word. I want you to tell me what, uh, what of the three words is, means the same as or similar to the target word. So the, the target word is talkative. Talkative. And the three words are querulous, epitome, loquacious. What's the first one? Querulous. What? Querulous. Querulous. Lo what did you say? Locatious. Locatious. Okay, I'll try, I'll try another one. So the target word is assiduous, and the three words are assiduous, uh, puissant, and blocking up in a heat of pinification. Are you sure? Sedulous. Final answer. I've never even heard that word. You're a clever ginger girl. That is a clever ginger girl. Well, that should be the case because the gingerness is the, the most evolved hair colour, isn't it? I mean, it's the final, it's, it's the crown of evolution. Um, but she has got them correct. So that, that is quite a good... I mean, that's just two questions, though. It's yeah. not a proper IQ. That is quite a good vocabulary. It's quite a good vocabulary. It has to, it has to be said. You've done well. You've done, you've, I think you've done well uh, in terms of uh, a high vocabulary girlfriend. Thank you, Ed. That's it. You've done well. How do you feel about being a high, high vocab girlfriend? Smart, innit? <laughs> and you know, I only went for you because I like the novelty of ginger hair, you know. Well, yeah, what well, the, well, the novelty was saying, in even the terms, well, if you, what the novelty was saying was that unusual genes, um, so go, go, go for those. There might be other helpful adaptations that go with them. You know, you've got to, well, how, where did ginger hair come from? Came from the fact that all the men got killed in hunting accidents. There's so loads of women. And there's loads of women left over, so they've got to compete. How do they compete? They, they, they have novelty. The men are attracted to novelty because it could be some useful adaptation. You never know. So they go for ginger hair and green eyes. Um, and, and also, of course, the other thing is the ginger hair correlates with estrogen. So, so it's, uh, it's a high issue of feminism, being a feminine woman, ginger hair. So you would expect men to select for that. And that's what, of course, you've done there. Thank you very much.